I love wigs. Very hard to tell, I know. <laughs> there are many, many ways that wigs can be made and I enjoy exploring all the different techniques. However, in this video I will show you the basics to create lace front or even full lace wigs yourself. Let's start with the most important tool. You will need a ventilating needle, which is basically a very, very fine crochet hook. Mine is straight, but they mostly come with a tilted tip. Here you can see the size comparison to a commonly sized crochet hook. The next thing you need is hair. Take a small strand and fold it into a loop. Hold it loosely in your weak hand. The smaller the strand, the less of a mess you will create. Trust me. Now you can grab a few hairs with your ventilating hook and pull them out. Because all of this is very small, I will show you how to ventilate with some yarn and the crochet hook. Slide your needle under one of the bars of the hexagonal structure of the lace and grab the hair. Pull it back to decide where the needle came from and push the needle further through the hair loop. Grab the hair close to the fingers of your holding hand and pull it through the loop, replacing the needle. Pull the hair all the way through and tighten the knot with a gentle tug. Done. If you want to make a knot with a lot of hair, so above three to four hairs per knot, you should make a double knot. It is started in the same way as the single knot, but instead of pulling the hair through the loop, you grab the hair near the holding hand again with the hook and then pull it free on the other side. That way you have two knots on top of each other, which keeps the hair in place better. However, the double knots are bigger and more visible than the single knots. Here you can see some ventilating with the hair and the ventilating needle on actual lace. Near the front I use a single hair per knot, since that looks most natural. To increase the density of the wig, I gradually use more hair the further I'm away from the hairline. Here I'm making a double knot. I get asked a lot where I buy my hair. When I started, I got cheap wigs from eBay and cut off the hair. However, now I buy wefts from cosplay shops like my costumes. That way I know the quality of the hair and I can choose multiple shades of one color to make my wigs even more natural. If you don't want to ventilate a whole wig, you can also make yourself some wefts. Using a crochet hook, you can tie thick strands of hair to a strong string using the same double knot like when ventilating. I'm not very experienced in weft making, but this was the technique that I liked best. Let's talk lace. We have the very rough net on which cheap eBay wigs are made. It's good to sew down wefts here. The lace you'll find on the hairline of lace front wigs is Swiss lace. It is durable and not very stretchy. It is a little bit more pricey, but a meter lasts a long time and you'll be able to make a lot of wigs. Another lace I like to use is this stretchy soft touch tool. The combs are nice and small and it can be used to sew down wefts and to ventilate, which needs a little bit of practice though, because it's stretchy. When I started making wigs, I used crafting tool, which I wouldn't recommend, because it tears very easily. There are many, many ways to make your wig foundation. Here I'll show you a few of my creations pre-adding hair. This one has a Swiss lace front and a rough net to sew down wefts in the back. In the neck, I have sewn some soft touch stretchy tool around an elastic, to have a ventilated neckline. This one has a Swiss lace front and scalp section and a rougher version of the soft touch tool in the back. And here we have the master of wigs, a full lace wig cap, completely made out of Swiss lace. Ventilating this will give the most natural result. However, it needs a lot of patience. <laughs> needs a lot of time. Anyways, <laughs> have fun with your wigs. And most importantly, don't be scared to get creative. Because all of what I've just told you is only one way to make things. Bye.